do remember the piece of spittle right on the side. Tracy Williams, Josh Briggs wasting no time. And we did not get the brackets before this show. Oh, no. So we had no idea what was coming up here. I mean, Josh Briggs, you're saying he doesn't want to waste time. I think he's trying to get this over with as quickly as he can, whether he has to take shortcuts or not. Because as we saw in the first round, he suffered a bad leg injury. And you can see yeah. that he suffered that knee injury because it, it was as if he was going to drop him yeah. on his knee and at the last second went, oh, wait, Absolutely. my knee's hurt. Absolutely. He's off a step. He's completely off a step. He, it, instinct kicked in there. His body took over. He didn't drop him on his own knee because he has to protect himself. You can see him limping around right now, and he jumped the gun on the intros. He's taking shortcuts. He wants it to, you know, limp into the finals as best he can. Very sound strategy from Briggs, maybe learning his lesson from Solo Darling. Oh. But there is the knee, the bullseye acquired by the Dirty Daddy, and he hit it full on. Whoa! Wow, springboard drop Damn. kick! Look out! Dirty Daddy's fired up! Springboard off the top rope! Luke Luke press. Press. Right press. Press. Right into him! You don't jump the gun on the Dirty Daddy! Go. I'm fired up. And clearly, fired up. clearly we can see some bias on the part of hot sauce Tracy Williams here as Dickinson right back in this fight and Briggs daring him on. Both men vying for a spot in the finals of this treasure hunt tournament. The winner winning the Beyond Wrestling Medallion, which gives them a shot at the independent wrestling title at a time of their choosing. Oh, oh, and you see it there. That time he did hit the backbreaker, but he based on that left leg and he felt it. Absolute desperation move. Throwing caution to the wind, letting his injured knee get damaged more, just for a second to breathe. I want to double back a little bit here and give a little perspective. Earlier on, we saw Josh Briggs throw up the bad leg to try to big boot Chris Dickinson when he got his leg hung up on the ropes. You might be asking yourself, why would he throw the bad leg at Dickinson? Well, the reason is when you throw that left leg, you're basing off your right leg. If he was to throw the right leg as he normally would, he'd be basing off of his bad leg. So he did make a good decision to throw up the bad leg, but it was a risk, and it didn't pay off. Wouldn't be able to get the full momentum on the kick. Right, you can't base off that bad leg if he was to throw up. Absolutely. You try to kick with the bad leg, base off the good one. And now at this point, it's survival mode for Josh Briggs, trying to keep Dickinson down. But as we've seen many times here in Beyond Wrestling, you're not going to be able to keep the gatekeeper down Absolutely for very not. long. We saw there Briggs did throw up the right boot, and he connected with it, but he felt it on that left leg, and he couldn't capitalize as quickly because he... Makes there. the cover. Dickinson went for that bottom rope, unable to get it, but still able to kick out in two. Yeah, quick thinking on Dickinson there. You only have two seconds to think about how you're going to get out of that predicament. Josh Briggs defeating Solo Darling in the opening round. Chris Dickinson in an absolute instant classic beating Willow Nightingale in the first round to reach this point. Both men know what's on the line here. For Josh Briggs, his undefeated streak as Chris Dickinson. Shades of Danny Glover. Yeah. Getting too old for this shit. <laughs> for Josh Briggs, his undefeated streak is on the line and a shot at the independent wrestling title. And for Chris Dickinson, it's his, it's his pride, not only as a competitor before this company. Oh! He caught him in the jaw, Paul! He's 
rocked. Falcon! Brainbuster, no! Changes his mind. Cover! Riggs out at two. Switching up the offense. Dirty Daddy known for that Falcon arrow. But instead, on that bigger man, he just decided to drive his head straight down into the mat with that brain Almost buster. like a snow plow almost there. Yeah, yeah, like half Northern Lights bomb, half brain buster. As Dickinson rallying this East Greenwich crowd behind him. We are at capacity here tonight at the Vardom Memorial Auditorium for Treasure Hunt. And we are mere weeks away for our weekly debut oh, as Chris Dickinson spinning DDT. And that is not enough for him. Oh man, he should have covered him on that. Just tosses him over. Oh. Boot to the face. Oh. Knee to the face from Briggs. Hits it. Two count only. Yeah, Briggs didn't get all of that knee with that leg injury. He's going for his regular offense, his signature stuff that he's used to doing, but he can't quite hit it as cleanly. Josh Briggs, like I had mentioned earlier, survival mode here, trying to find one big move to put him away. Could he be trying for that M5? He's halfway there. He's gonna steal someone else. Oh, Dickinson trying to chop the arm down. Dickinson clubbing away. Those backhanded strikes. Oh! Spinning back chop. <laughs> Sends Dickinson to the apron. Back elbow. Hard. Now, what does Briggs have in mind here? That desperation sinking in. If he can hit this, whatever he has in mind, it could be all over. But is that knee going to come into play? He didn't even have a chance to try it. Now, Chris Dickinson Ooh. chops away. Open hand strike. Dickinson scaling oh, the top. Oh, God. Oh, Huracan Rana from the top. Oh, big boot. Big boot. Oh, no, what does he have? Whoa. He tries again, but his knee goes out. Oh. Head kick. He tried it again, but the knee went out. Dickinson with it into Geary. Pazuzu bomb time. He's gonna try for it. Oh, oh no. He's got him covered. No. He lost the clutch. Lost the clutch. Kevin Quinn oh, no. deeming his shoulder was up. M5. But his knee, yeah, he did so much move. damage to his knee, he can't make the cover. Instinctually, he went for his biggest move, the biggest thing in his arsenal, that M5. But he put Dickinson, all 250 plus pounds of Dickinson, right on his own knee. Now, now he's covering. Cover. Oh. No! Those were some very costly seconds there. That bit of hesitation as he felt the effects on his knee. Absolutely. Briggs beside himself asking Kevin Quinn to assist him to his feet. And now he has to be rattling his brain. What can I possibly do here and to put option, Dickinson out? Not only has he hit most of his biggest stuff that he's got, but his options are limited because his knees, he, he can't, he can barely walk. But right now he's ascending the ropes backwards with his back facing to Dickinson. I don't know about Maybe this a moonsault. I've seen him try it in the past. Oh, but Dickinson no. catches the leg. Oh, no. What does he have in mind? No! Oh! Inside out German from the top. No! Avalanche German suplex from Dickinson. And Unbelievable. He's peeling up Briggs off the mat, looking for that Pazuzu Bob. What, what the hell? Hey, what is this? David Starr. Oh, come on. Disqualification. David Starr. Not only. What is he thinking here, though? 
What is he thinking? I don't think he is thinking. I think he's still full of rage from earlier tonight that he's going to take it out on anybody. Specifically on Dickinson, the man who embarrassed him not only months ago, but tonight as well. Oh, come on. All oh, right, to the come on. We gotta get more people out here. Seriously, grab that chair from him. Get this. Get him out of here. You blame Kevin Quinn and Steven Domingo. I wouldn't want to get in front of him. Oh. David Starr losing earlier tonight to Chris Statlander thanks to a distraction from Chris Dickinson and now taking his revenge. He allowed himself to be distracted. You reap what you sow. It's him, it's him, it's David Starr that's so wrapped up with Chris, Dick, with Chris Dickinson. Control myself, get your ass out of here, Chris. Obsessed. Get on, go call yourself the back, man. David Starr's lost it. The of the beyond wrestling. Get the hell out of here. Look at that. Oh, I told you I'd beat you today. Oh, didn't I? Oh, I promised it. I said I would see you today, didn't I? Yeah, Chris. Oh, let me pick him up and drag his carcass to the back. Yeah, see you later, Chris. See you later. Bye bye. Bye bye, Chris. David Starr with a disgusting display. And via a disqualification, Dickinson is in the final. Yeah, but I don't think David Starr thought this plan all the way through because he just robbed Briggs of a victory and gave Briggs a loss in the record books. Well, David Starr is very lucky that Chris Dickinson damaged Josh Briggs' knee because right now he'd probably be eating an M5 on the floor. Briggs missing out on advancing in this tournament, missing out on a decisive finish there one way or another. Technically, he did lose the match, but I mean, he wasn't defeated. No. And he was robbed, but he was not defeated. An unbelievable and disgusting turn of events has really soured this tournament, but we have one more semifinal left to go. 